नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन प्रोग्राम इट्स अ सीरीज ऑन जर्नी ऑफ नेशनल आईसीटी अवार्डी टीचर वी हैव सो मेनी टीचर्स हु गेट दिस नेशनल आईसीटी अवार्ड बट एवरी जर्नी इज स्पेशल एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट हाउ इज इट स्पेशल वील गेट टू नो विद दिस एक्सपर्ट ऑफ आर्ट्स हु हैज ज्वाइंट आर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन एंड ही इज मिस्टर एस साइमन पीटर पॉल a very welcome to you sir thank you thank you welcome sir is from a uh, sir is a primary school teacher from government primary school pangur palithenal post puducherry and he'll be talking about his journey his ups and downs how it all began and uh, what's so important and what are we going to learn from his journey so if you have any questions any queries please feel free to reach out to us you can share your questions through our email id which is training.helpdesk@cit.nic.in if you want to give us a call the number would be 8800440559 you're watching us live at this moment from pme vidya channel number 6 to channel number 12 and also on our youtube channel which is ncert official in the live chat box of our youtube channel you can write down your questions related to the journey of our today's national ict award teacher and send them to us till 5 o'clock we are here discussing all about his journey and uh, without wasting any more time let's just ask him that what's so special about his journey how did it begin and uh, what are we going to learn from his journey sir i can see that you have made a presentation through which you are going to explain things to me and to our viewers so would you like to begin with that yes ma'am sure I am Mr. Simon Peter Paul. I am a primary school teacher. Today, I would like to share some of my experience and my journey towards ICT. Before that, I would like to thank my teacher, Mr. Bashir Ahmed. Because of him, I am standing here. Thank you, sir. Here, I would like to share my journey in three phases. That one is from 2005 to 2016. Uh, i would like to share my journey with icit and then after receiving the award from 2017 to 2019 that will be my second phase and then 2020 to 20 2022 that is the journey during pandemic situation so i would like to share in three phases first let me go with from 2000 to 2005 to 2016 so these are all some of the initiatives that i have taken in my school that in which i was working in government primary school we have conducted video conferences through skype and uh, we have installed tax math tax type j complex different type of online games and then we had the watching and then we converted the poem into songs and we made we made the children to prepare science experiments and uh, we also had a small studio in our uh, school so as a first initiative what happened is that we plan to conduct a classroom exchange program between two schools that is the school government primary school pangu in which i was working and then the school which is very near to us that is around the 6 to 7 kilometers that one is government primary school willino which here so we plan to have a classroom exchange program from between between them but uh, in order to conduct that we have to uh, we need some transportation i have to i uh, we plan for class by students so we need transportation and uh, using the using the transportation we have to go, go to other school and our students will collaborate with this schools and they will have some interactions but uh, due to financial constraint we couldn't be able to make that so we was thinking uh, because we can't afford that much amount uh, in in primary schools we can't afford that much amount so we were thinking at the time we plan to have a video conference instead of having a face to face so this was the first initiative which we had done so we plan to conduct the video lessons and uh, and uh, 
introducing of students through skype so we had this for one week so this is the program schedule so morning from 11 to 11:30 uh, the students from this school uh, from pangur to vilenur they will be having interaction they will be introducing others and every day they will introduce about their village everything and in the afternoon from 2 to 3 pm uh, they will be taking the lessons here i would like to showcase one of the lesson here here so you could see the interaction of students with the pangur a pangur and uh, vilenur i would like to play one video that you could see the interaction hi i will get them so likewise uh, we did and then uh, later on we had the lessons also so what is the difference between having the face to face class and uh, having classes through online maybe in routine classes the student uh, may not uh, attend properly but here in this mode because since the online mode was very new to them it developed a curiosity and it attracted them even though face to face class will be more effective but if they are facing a new set of students and they are, and they are seeing the new teacher it makes them to uh, it attracts them and also it helps them to understand the lessons you know we conducted this online class for one week that was through skype we got 100% attendance and then the next initiative which we taken which we had taken was the bird watching so the concept is we have to classify and differentiate the birds so this was the concept and we all know to watch the bird that there was a lake near to our school that is called usudu lake there we could see different species of birds but in order to watch the birds we need binoculars so in our in, in my class we have 23 students from class 5 but we can't afford everyone binoculars but we were in the confusion but how we could make this one achieve already we had one video camera in our school one of my students suggested that using the video camera we can uh, zoom the video zoom the zoom to the board and then from the video camera we can connect it to the television so that it will be easy for the children to watch the bird very closer so that idea helped us what we did we uh, with the tripod we had one camera and that one was connected with the television so it will, uh, it was very easy for the children to observe the bird very easily here i would like to thank mr surender the bird watcher he helped us uh, in doing this program so this is the bird observation form so this was this is the form using this form the children will observe the bird and uh, identify the birds the size of the bird and its wing color beak shape beak length likewise they will identify this one and here i would like to play one video right nalla paranga black black yeah kala color hai white sir students from class 5 and we trained them how to turn on the computer and how to turn off the computer how to use the calculator how to use the games how to use the powerpoint we trained them so this is the lunch break time table so each day during the lunch break uh, they will be having different types of activities in our school uh, they will be having chess some will attend library for each activity we had uh, we have selected leaders from the class 5 and class 4 and monthly the leader will be changed 
So this is the computer lab register maintained by our students. Here you could see what are all the topics they have taken. And then here you could see the classes and the number of students attended and they will get a signature from the headmaster. So you could see some of the uh, activities, the active participation of the students in tax map when they are playing the game and identifying the alphabets through tax type. Watching Zoom must be, that is the interactive video, uh, especially for environmental studies. And then they are learning a uh, conversation through Hello English videos. And also the craft period. So learning craft through YouTube, they watch this are all taken during the year 2005 to 2014. And uh, they learn craft to YouTube. And then in the lunch break, these master trainers, they will teach uh, the students of class one to class four, they will teach how to make origami crafts. And also our students prepared science models uh, through YouTube. And I would like to showcase here. And then the next one is what uh, we, we had a mobile dictionary in our school. Uh, this one was uh, also Symbian OS. But right now we have Android mobile. This was uh, during the year 2007 and uh, between 2007 and 2014. So we had a mobile there. And then using the mobile, they find the meanings. And then next one is we had a tape recorder in our school. Uh, it, it had a cassette. Right now we, are, we have turned into a uh, CDs, DVDs and pen drives but earlier we had the cassette player and what we used to do is uh, we tell the children to read the lesson and record and later on they will listen. This also motivated the children daily uh, it developed the reading practice. The next initiative what we had done with our teachers is we, uh, we had uh, we created one audio rhyme CD sung by our school students. So, in Puducherry, uh, during the year 2009, they have introduced, uh, introduced NCRT textbook from class 1 to class 5. So, since it was very new to our children, the class 2 children, uh, they found very difficult in reciting the poem. It had around 22 poems. So, it was very difficult for them. So, what we planned is, uh, we, the teachers, we, have, we are around 5 teachers, we uh, divided it into 5 groups. And then uh, we have we included the class five students along with us. We composed some tune, and we had one music teacher named uh, Tanika Chalam. He is a actually he is a violinist. On seeing our interest and making tunes for the poems, he learned the piano and he composed music. And we took our children to the studio, and we made them to sing. We distributed that CD, that uh, rhyme CD to all the primary schools in Puducherry. And then uh, we conducted science, science school level science exhibitions. And during that, we made the children to video shoot the science exhibits. So we, uh, we prepared one CD, 25 simple science experiments by the kids and we showed to all the schools. Here I would like to show one video one demonstration video by our school. Uh, 
Uh, here there is nothing, uh, no part from my side, they learned through YouTube and then even the video was taken by the kids and then they made cakes and then they prepared sambar, uh, sambar and then we had a block spot, created a block spot for our school and uh, we also developed one school advertisement I would like to showcase. My name is Tita Lakshmi. I am the scholar of Commons Primary School, Puducherry. This is my school. A classroom is color. She is my teacher. Play the classes, learn play for it. You learn to yourself learning. Up into learning. And play to writing. My school has big library with colorful books. We also do play teaching. We have modernized computer lab. We share food with friends. So this is my school team. So actually before uh, applying ICT award, so these teachers, they motivated me to apply this award, uh, Bhatma Odinis and Hama Marli and Subhashni and Dhanakshmi and Renata. This is my school team. Because of them, I applied ICT award. Uh, they, uh, without their support, I am not be here. Uh, thank you teachers. And because of that, and I received ICT award uh, from the president during the year, uh, for the year 2015, I received during 2016. So, I came to Delhi and then uh, before receiving the award, uh, I met uh, Dr. Rajaram Sharma, the motivator. Uh, he was the joint director during that time. And then we came there, uh, he said only one word. So, you are... You are not getting the award for what you have done earlier. You are getting the award, the work you are going to do later. So this was the line said by him. It motivated me when I was receiving the award. I hear the word open source when I was presenting. Till that, so you could see my type of work was uh, like video and audio at that time. And then later on, I learned how to uh, about the open resources he is the real motivator and what he said after that only this award is given for you to work from now thank you sir and after that i got an opportunity to attend the international forum for ict perspective that is uh, in collaboration with unesco and cit so i was one of the around 36 uh, uh, people from different countries were attending. So I got this opportunity, but I was not worth and I was, uh, I attended the uh, program and uh, I have to thank Angel ma'am uh, because when I was attending there, I felt that I was not worth for this program. And then uh, she told me that there is some purpose for you to come here and to attend. So these words from Raja Ramsar and Angel Gam, because of you, I started to learn and, and I created a group in Puducherry. So this is the my stage, my first one from 2005 to 2016. And then after receiving the award and after uh, motivate, after getting motivation from Dr. Raja Ramsar and Angel Ma'am. My journey started in different perspective from 2017 to 2019. So this is the first program what I did. I plan to train the teachers in Puducherry. 
So we formed a group uh, called Universal Teachers Academy. We started with five teachers, this one, and then we conducted an orientation an orientation program for uh, the teachers for the innovative practices and experiments in classroom. This was our first program, and then around there are ten to twelve participants they attended the program. So this program made a success, and one of the participants from Puducherry, uh, Mr. Suganti, uh, she got national level award. So it motivated us. We conducted various face-to-face -face programs in Puducherry. So these are all some of the programs. Programs here you could see how to prepare research paper and how to create stop motion animation and how to create an Android application. Uh, so some of the ICT awardees they helped us through online and some came to Puducherry and we conducted various programs. You know some of the programs uh, from initially when we are starting uh, some programs we conducted only with two teachers like that. And later on, it progressed, and then we conducted uh, many programs in Puducherry how to create interactive e-content, and uh, how, and also we guided the teachers how to present, how to prepare video for ICT Mela, All India Video Education Audio Video Festival. We are proud to say that for the past four years, Pondicherry is the only state receiving uh, more than five awards every year in ICT Mela. And these workshops uh, we have conducted during the pandemic, sorry, before the pandemic period. And these are all some of the interactive e content uh, created by the participant. This one was Image Hotspot, and this one Crossword Puzzle, and Drag and Drop, and then matching this one. So these are all the training which we have, uh, which I have done, and the participants from the number two to and we had around more than 50 participants for each program okay this one was the, this this one flying together and the next initiative which i have created is that a uh, machine reading so using the natural reader application i created this one this one lesson is for from class five so we I created this video. The student will listen this listen to this video with earphones and then repeat after it. Here I will uh, demonstrate here. Deep in the forest stood the very tall tree. The student will listen to it and after that deep in a forest stood a very tall tree. They will repeat along with it. Flying together. One of the geese was a wise old bird. So like that the student will... My friends. So we did this for 15 days and then here, uh, so this is the lesson, you could see the output of my student. Flying together, deep in forest, to the very dirty, with sleepy branches that out like storms. Steve was the owner here, but how quiet is the eagle said that one of the geese was a wise old bird, noticed a small creeper at the foot of a tree, spoke to the other birds about it. Do you see the creeper? He said to them. Robinson Crusoe discovers a footprint. Robinson Crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea. He had been alone for many years and long for company. One day he discovers a footprint on the sea. So the, uh, these students, they gave voice over for the school advertisement. And then the next initiative is through stop motion animation to ensure the concrete learning being made the children. Uh, to do prepare uh, video lessons using stop motion animation. Here I would showcase one. The thirsty crew. Once upon a child, there lived a crew. It was very thirsty. It searched for water here and there. At last, it saw a pot of water. Took the bubbles one by one and put it into the pot. Oh, jellyfish. Let me eat it. 
the human being saw. And this one is also the video. And finally, the waste and undigested food will be removed out of the body. It will kill the germs in the food. Then, the food gets mixed and grinded by the stomach. Okay. And the next initiative is creating interactive book. A new, uh, interactive ebook. I would like to showcase one. So this is for class one, three little pigs. This is the interactive ebook. So wherever you click, the book will respond. For example, if I clicking here, so it will move. So this is the first page of the book. Here, if I click here, house. Once there. Where three little pigs. So it creates, it helps the children to read the book easily. Suppose if they want to read the book as a sentence, here you they can click on the teacher. Once there were three little pigs. I am Sonu. Sonu, Monu. I am Monu. So this will uh, help the children to read the book and also it helps them to understand. House. Once upon and also we created some animated video lessons. A 2D the time there lived little fir tree. It was unhappy with its needle-like leaves. Trees have beautiful green leaves, but my leaves are like needles. A magician. I have got green leaf goat. Please don't eat. The goat ate all. Okay, so this are all the uh, my second phase of journey the, uh, during the year 2017 to 19, 19. And the third part. My journey is from 2020 to 2022. So this one is during the pandemic period. So here, uh, before and pandem before pandemic and during pandemic, the integration of ICT in education was through PPT and then LCT projector. This was the situation. But during the pandemic, so it was very new to everyone because we can reach the students only through online mode, maybe Zoom or Dixar and WhatsApp and Google Meet. This, these are all the platform which we used during the pandemic situation. So the first online class for 10 standard government school students, this was the first initiative taken by us along with a set of teachers who could handle class 10. So the online class is very, very new to us and also very, very new to the children. So we plan to conduct uh, online class, especially only for government school students. So, we prepared a brochure uh, that was from 2nd to 6th April from 10 to 11 a.m. We uh, plan to focus only on late, late boomers also. So, we rolled out the brochure. We got very good response. At the time, I was handling 10th. I got very good response, around 1,500 responses we got from the students. I was very happy because in my class, uh, when I was handling 10, it was only 26 uh, strength. But here in through online mode, uh, all the teachers, we formed a group, five, five, five number of teachers, we have formed a group and we were so happy with the response. And then later on, we filtered the students because we planned only for government school students. So out of 1,500, uh, nearly 1,000 number of students were from private school. And uh, we plan since we focused for uh, government school, we filtered uh, only government school. We got around 523. Even though we are very happy since the number was uh, so uh, very good, 523. And then uh, we created a separate WhatsApp group. So this one during the pandemic initial stage at the time of uh, April, we created a WhatsApp group separately for the boys and for the girls. And then after creating the group, 
and we got lots of messages who are in the school lab and they were chatting within the children. So we couldn't uh, avoid because I was very new at the time to the WhatsApp. So what I did, uh, I sent the messages that admin only can message. And then I was so happy because uh, no one could message. Again, what happened? No, I started to get phone calls, unknown numbers. And then when I was attending, then, uh, then only I came to know some of the students were asking me to unblock, so uh, to remove the uh, admin only can message. And then I tried to remove some of the students. Some, we also got some, uh, uh, we, we removed some of the students from the WhatsApp group. And then, uh, they, uh, and then the next day for uh, the program, uh, actually after filtering the students, again it reduced to 212. It started with 1500 and now it's 212. Uh, anyhow, I was so happy. And then they, uh, before the program, uh, what happened? I got a message that your WhatsApp number is banned. But all the communication which I have only is using the WhatsApp. But I got that your number is banned. I don't know what to do. And then uh, what I uh, contacted customer uh, support and then I sent mail. So the next day of the program, I'm sending the email uh, day before evening 5 p.m. I don't know what I, uh, how I'm going to reach the students uh, through WhatsApp and through Zoom. And then I couldn't sleep. Early morning by 4, I got an email that your WhatsApp ban was removed with certain uh, restrictions. Anyway, I was so happy. And then the next day, so we started our work. And then around uh, 100 students uh, joined during 100 to 120 joined on the first day. and. Uh, we taught the lessons to them. We were very so happy. We were so happy. We taught with them. We got very response with them also. Mobile galaxies, mobile galaxy. So in the other smartphones, accessories. No, 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 no. Smartphones. Yes, sir. So this was the interaction between the teacher and the student. Uh, the student is telling to to change whatever the corrections they have to do here. Right, ah. Ah, right. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, right. Mobile Galaxy. Okay. And also, we are very so happy with the students' work because uh, daily we gave assignments. Uh, we gave assignments to the children and then they submitted promptly. So these are all some of the homeworks they gave to the children. We were very happy with our teaching skills. All the teachers we were so happy because through online, ninety percent of the students they submitted the assignment promptly. We were very happy with our teaching skills. Very very happy. But later uh, we came to know that most of the students were school topper. So around 87 students, uh, totally 89 students participated uh, daily. Out of 89, 87 students were toppers in the school and only two students were average. So anyway, we are happy with that. Now we had the question, how to reach the students? So this was the question. Uh, we plan to conduct it for class 5. Before that, we plan how to reach the students. Whether Uh, how we are going to reach the students. This was the first question. And then whether the students are having the gadgets and whether they know to use technology and whether they are having internet connectivity, whether at what time the children will be having the mobile with them because the primary students, they won't have, they will not be having the mobile. So at what time will be convenient for them and how we are going to assess. So these are all the questions arose in the mind. We formed a group of teachers in Puducherry and then we were discussed and then we planned this. We adopted this strategies. One is contacted through online video conferencing. And second one, uploading the video through YouTube and then telecasting the lessons to local channels, carrying the lessons through pen drive and face to face. These are all the strategies which we adopted. And then uh, we formed a group. We invited the teachers who could 
help us. Targeted the topics for the quarterly portions. We had demo classes with the teachers and we rolled out the brochure to the students and we created a WhatsApp group and we conducted online classes. So this was the class. This one is the first phase we conducted for 13 days. Uh, evening there we had for six, uh, during the time 6 p.m. So these are all the response by the children. They daily submitted the homework and then you could see some of the responses. Good morning, ma'am and sir. I, my name is Sati Jay. I am studying in 5th standard. Tamil. Uh, and also this was uh, some of the crafts created by the students through online mode. Divya Sti, Divya Sti, where are you? I am here, mummy. Which place? My room. Okay, I will come back. Yes, mummy. Divya Sti, what are you doing? My morning class attending, mummy. Oh, sorry for the disturbance, ma'am. My chain dryer, mummy. Okay. And then even we conducted the quarterly portions also. We conducted an online exam and then we given them the credit card. So this was the work not done by me. I was one of the part in that program. These are all the teachers from Puducherry and Tamil Nadu. They worked uh, very hard for the past one and a half, uh, during uh, one and a half months they worked. And they took demo classes to achieve this one. Thank you teachers here. And then uh, what we did, uh, we started a uh, Universal Teachers Academy along with the teachers and then we planned to give, train the teachers uh, uh, through online mode. So this was during the April when we started the orientation program for, for uh, class 10 and then from uh, this one was 10 days workshop, around 2000 uh, participants attended the workshop, it was very massive. And then we conducted many workshops, how to edit a video, how to create e-content tools, and how to create animations. And uh, these are all some of the educational tips and how to create e-content tools, and then how to create educational posters. So we conducted around 18 workshops during that time. We got day by day, uh, day uh, each day, the, uh, the number of responses was increased. They submitted the assignments also. See, you could see around 10,000 participants attended, so registered for the workshop and we conducted 18 online workshops. Uh, around 48,000 teachers uh, got benefited. And I'm so happy to tell you that this UTA, Universal Teachers Academy, it started by the, only by five teachers. Right now we have uh, almost in all the states, we have Universal Teachers Academy through WhatsApp and we have around uh, 27,000 of members, teachers and teacher educators in this UTA. I, have, I, have, I, I want to thank all the UTA organizers, the team who supported me to stand in this side. Thank you. Thank you uh, for this, uh, for making me to stand here. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I have completed. Yeah. So this was very interesting journey as we saw various videos you shared with our viewers and uh, so you um, shared your journey into three parts and all those three parts were special. Is there any difference you would like to tell us about those three phases, especially the phase of the um, pandemic where uh, we saw lockdown and things were not as uh, up to the expectations. So any exclusive thing you would like to share about that particular phase? Uh, during pandemic already, I told some of uh, the strategies which we have adopted. So these, these were the strategies. So first one uh, through video conferencing and then sharing through YouTube and then 
telecasting the video lessons and then sharing through DVDs and pen drive. These were all the strategies. And I would like to mention one of the strategy. There was a person, uh, one of the uh, teacher who I uh, came to know through UTA. Mm. Uh, he made this. Uh, he reached the students using worksheets, using the milkman. He prepared worksheets and he gave it gave it to the milkman. The milkman distributed all the worksheets to the uh, nearby because in most of the uh, government school students they will be from a particular village alone. So he uh, delivered. Uh, the orchids along with the milk, and then evening he will collect. Next day he will collect, and then uh, he will give. Likewise, uh, also one teacher has done that. And then uh, one more. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Please carry on. Yes, in the online mode, uh, because uh, in the online mode we can reach the government school students in different way like this. Okay. All right, and uh, sir, uh, was there any internet connection issue the students were facing, anything like that? Yes, it happens, it happens. That's what we had this strategy, mm -hmm. uh, uploading the video on YouTube. Because okay. when we are having, uh, when, when we conducted the classes through Zoom for primary school students from 6 to 7. So this was our first strategy. At that time, most of the uh, children couldn't attend, some parents will come late. For that, we uploaded on YouTube so that whenever they had strong internet connectivity, at that time they can see. All right. Okay. So initially you shared um, this concept of mobile dictionary and you also showed uh, this uh, small video of uh, rob robo bike. So would you yes. like to throw some light, some more light on that? Uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, that mobile dictionary, that one was very long back. At that time, there was not Android mobile also. Okay. So, so whenever the children loves to use gadgets, mm. so in order to attract them, attract them, I kept them. Yeah. Kept them mobile. So it attracted them. So whenever they want to learn, so when they want to test the phone, uh, they will search the book and they will find some hardware and then they will come here and tell, sir, I want to find meaning for this phone. So in order to test the mobile, they automatically search the book. So that helped the children. And the next one, what you say? Uh, uh, that a robot. Yeah, robot bike. I put it through YouTube. Actually, in my school, there was not no internet connectivity. Uh, from my home, I used to download the videos and then I copy it with pen drive and then I give it to them. And they ask for the materials. And then the uh, I get some of the toys from the teachers. Uh, toys and then we give it to them and then they break the toys and then they take motor and they take uh, wheels and they watch the video and they do that. Even for soldering they use candle to solder the wire. They don't use uh, the electrical items. Okay, all right. So, um, so how did you really feel when you got the National ICT award? <laughs> getting the national actually uh, I was not open that time because of my teachers they forced me to apply for that especially Bhatma Vadi ma'am she forced me you have to apply that then uh, she only even filled the form everything uh, just I put the sign alone and then after uh, receiving the award uh, really Rajaram sir uh, that was the words which motivated me and the angel band, she motivated that I can do from my side. Just give a try, just I try. And uh, actually this work is not alone, uh, not belongs only to me. So it belongs to the big group of teachers, especially the UTA team and the team of ICT awardees from Tamil Nadu and from uh, Chandini Agarwal and Virgin sir and Murli sir and then Ramya from different states. Uh, they are all the national ICT awarded. They supported me uh, to form the group, and we. And uh, that's what we now. Right now, we have 27,000 teachers and teacher educators in UTA WhatsApp group. So that was a great success. I was so very happy with that. And I want to tell you one thing about the CIT training. Mm -hmm. I attended the CIT training after receiving the award. After one year, I was attending the training. So whenever I attended the training. So, I never saw uh, worse training from CIA. I was thinking like that. And then what? No, they will just introduce only one topic. 
and then they will ask 100 questions and then i think i am coming here to learn something but they will show one software and they will ask 100 questions when i try to find answer for 100 questions i learn automatically so this was the best methodology i don't know what strategy they are using i can proudly say that if you give any new software i can directly operate so that was the specialty of CIT training. Because of the questions, we started to learn. Uh, thank you all the CIT faculties. During when I was patenting the first time, really I was so bored. What type of training is that? But later on, because of the questions they are asking after the training, that made me to explore each and every tool. Right now, really I am proud to say that I can Explore any type of software which you can give. I can directly make a tutorial. All right. So your hard work actually paid off, and uh, like I can hear um, your sound here, and uh, you're very passionate about all the software and um, all the support you got from your colleagues, your uh, teachers, and it, it's incredible. Not everyone is that lucky, and uh, you're definitely lucky in that case, and you're passionate in your hard work. And um, congratulations on the National ICT Award which you got. You totally deserve that. Sir, any message, any um, inspirational quote, or anything you have for our viewers who want to learn something from your journey? No, no, no inspirational words. Actually, inspiration comes from oh, some other teacher because Bashir Hamad sir, he took only 30 minutes class. He's, he was not my class teacher. He took only 30 minutes class uh, during the year 2003. Still now, that 30 minutes transform my teaching career. So the inspiration starts from other, uh, another teacher. Maybe the words from Rajaram Sahib, the words from Angel Ma'am. Uh, but here, I think I've not worked to that. And also, I don't have any words to say. You know, just uh, explore. When we explore, we can learn. And also, sharing the knowledge. Uh, one thing that I have to tell is that sharing whatever you learn today, you try to share with other teachers, automatically you will be get trained. Because when you are telling to other teachers, and uh, we will tell again and again, after the five times, automatically we will learn the tool easily. Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, sharing all your experiences, everything, um, regarding your journey of uh, a national ICT awardee teacher. Thank you so much for sharing this platform with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this program. I'm sure you liked it. If you have any questions, any queries, then please feel free to write it down and share your uh, queries on our email ID, which is training.helpdesk at the rate ciet.nic.in. I'm sure your questions will be answered very, very soon. And uh, every day we try and bring you something or the other new in this series of uh, the journey of a national ICT awardee teacher. So if you are uh, not motivated enough, then please watch these videos, which we have uploaded on our YouTube channel. That's NCRT official. And uh, every day we bring you so many programs. So if you want to know the schedule, the details of our programs, then do visit our website. That is CIET or Swam Prabha. Each and every detail will be mentioned, which class, which subject, which topic is going to be taken up and uh, everything will be mentioned. So that will be very easy for you to plan up your entire week. And um, we are wrapping up this particular session here, but stay here, don't go anywhere because we are coming up uh, with another special program of ours, Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children, which is extremely important these days. And the topic of discussion would be career by choice, not by chance. So do watch this program if uh, you are on that stage where you are about to take up your career and uh, your future depends on it. So all the very best for your future. And uh, thank you so much once again. Take great care of yourself. And uh, thank you so much. Namaskar.